babies have often been considered a bundle of joy, but that bundle may be getting smaller. A recent Harvard study found that the average birth weight of U.S. babies declined in the last 15 years after steadily increasing since 1950. Professor Lynn Yamashita specializes in infant development at the University of Hawaii. What they say is that this is only a two ounce decline. It's not going to have a significant health impact on the baby. But they still want to figure out why they're seeing this trend. The Harvard researchers behind the study, published in this month's Obstetrics and Gynecology, could not explain the cause of this decline. None of the infants in the study were preterm or multiples, the top two causes of low birth weight. Several other factors known to lead to lower birth weight include smoking, inadequate prenatal care, poor nutrition, stress, anemia, diabetes, and short intervals between pregnancies. Possibly with this study, women are receiving better treatment for diabetes, so they're not gaining as much weight, and their babies aren't as big. That might be what's driving down the birth weight. While the increase in low birth weight babies is negative, a decrease in very large babies is positive. Infants that weigh much more than average can cause many complications during labor. It really runs counter to everything we know. We know that we have more obese women, so you would think that would lead to heavier babies, but we're seeing the opposite. The Women, Infant, and Children Nutrition Program, also known as WIC, hopes to help decrease the number of low birth weight infants by offering nutritional education for women who are pregnant or have children under the age of five. In addition to education, WIC provides checks for approved foods free of charge. Lynn Salamanca is the Nutritional Service and Support Coordinator with the Department of Health's WIC branch in Hawaii. We target certain nutrients are viewed as essential for growth for children under five, and then also during the pregnancy. Or hence we offer cheese, milk, and recently we're now able to use soy products. We have fresh uh, or frozen fruits and vegetables. So those are things, of course, that can help with weight gain. Salamanca stresses the importance of eating healthy during pregnancy. She points to new findings indicating that women who were obese prior to pregnancy tend to have babies with lower birth weights. In these cases, the mother's weight gain can trigger other medical conditions. Salamanca and Yamashita's suggestions could suit the Harvard study, especially after researchers exhausted any of the expected explanations. So I think with this latest research, what really stands out is the researchers are saying there is something here going on that we haven't even started to question. This has been a report by Mary Renee Ruder. Thanks for listening. Thank you.